Hi everybody, this is Robert here with more Rivet Training. Today, we're going to look at how to trans use a template file to go into your model. So this is an existing model here on the left. And I want to add some cable tray. We've got a transformer here, as you can see it in 3D view. And this is just a plank cell in here. I've got it this way so you can see it better because we want to highlight the cable tray and everything. So first thing first, you have this template file over here. And it basically says to use this, this cable tray system. Um, you want to open your project. And I have my project open. And I want to copy all the fittings and runs into this, basically. Because I've got them all created over here, as you can see in these schedules. So to do that, you can do it one or two ways. You can cut and paste them in, but I like to do it this way. I go here, I'll go to the Manage tab, and I'll go to Transfer Project Standards. And it says copy from, and I don't want to copy from that one. I want to copy from, okay, one second here. Let me get over here. You've got to be in the right file. So I want to be here. Transfer project standards. I'm copying from say just say hang on a minute. So let me cancel that. Let me go in here. I should have just copied them in. It would have been a lot quicker and easier. And I don't want this video to be that long. See, so there's the one I want to copy from. This is my template file over here. This file. So what I do, I'll just check none. Then I'll go all the way down to where it said, I mean, I could copy all this stuff in. I will eventually, or you could, but I don't want that. Once this template is completed, all this stuff will go. But for the time being, I'm leaving it there. So here we got cable tray sizes, types, and settings. Then I'm going to say OK. OK, so now those cable tray are in this file. So right now, I don't need this guy anymore. I can leave him open, though. And then I'll go over here. Now, um, I've got a couple of pieces of equipment here. That's a switch gear, motor control center. So all I need to do from this point is go into my uh, system tab. And I'll go pick up cable tray. And then there's all my cable tray in this file. So I can pick one that I want. Uh, hell. Let's pick the nine inch then. And then we need to set this at nine as well. And then I want to just go and place my cable tray here. Now this is a run now. Let's go all the way down to the other element here so we're going to take this guy and there's our fitting in there we're going to go all the way over to this uh, piece of equipment and we'll just stop it right here now we're going to have other things in, in, in this guy so we want to branch off so I would probably go run straight through here and then I'll get my T there's my T in there. And then I might come here. I'm going to stay high there because we're going to drop these bad boys down. Then I'll probably come here and do another T because I want to go into this room and this room here. Um, let's go back to cable tray. I want to go into that with those two rooms. Okay, now I want to come here and let's just do a okay, in that way to go in that way, that, that room that way. And then let's go from here to here. And let's make this, uh, let's go with, now it's at a, a nine inch, just changes to a 18 inch. And my reducer should pop in there. There it is. 
cable. That's not the one I wanted to use, but I'll fix that later. So there's our cable tray runs all in place. Now we need to go in here and go to a section view and pull some of these down. So um, we're going to this view here, double click it. Pull this down. That's a little bit too high, I think. Yep. What's that there? Hmm. So that, that cable tray is really too low. Let's see what elevation that is. That's at, wow, that's, that's pretty low. So let's put it at nine feet. In fact, let's grab all this and bring it up to nine feet. So to do that, I'll just hit the tab here as well. Okay, so we're all at nine feet now. That's good. So is this elevation nine feet? Yep. So now at this point, we'll just drag this over. Or we can just draw a cable tray here. Continue to draw. And we can drop this guy down into this piece of equipment here. Okay, so now what I want to show you as well, so I'm going to go back into that power plan view. And just in case uh, we might not like this run, we can go and move this whole run. And shift everything all the way back. So that's a pretty good... I don't really need this. I'm gonna knock this down now. I'm gonna knock uh, uh, cancel it. Just y'all leave it open. So there's our cable tray run. Now let's go and um, if once if we're satisfied with this, I don't know. So let me go in here and look at some of these other things. So I'll just drag this section back. Double click here. And I can go here and I can drop this down. And I'll go back this way. Because it's probably going to be something down here. So this is just arbitrary. I'm just running this through here. Now, um, we want to place some hangers in here now some racks for these guys so I'm gonna go back to this level this plan view and I put one over here this is our one of our uh, racks or struts this is this is a coke element though it's not a US tray and then I'll just uh, close this out uh, no, I don't want to save it and then I'll go here and I'll just take this guy and move it in here that I want to already add or I can be inserted and I'll just place it right there on that reference line and rotate it and the engineers they know how far they want to space these things but I'm gonna go I'm gonna just start from here I'm gonna go about 10 feet so there's that one I'll copy another one here. This this key in ten feet, bam. And I go again. I'll just copy, constraint and multiple, and I'll just go ten. I don't need to go that far apparently, so I'll just push that one back. I'm gonna knock this down because it's in the way now. We don't need that anymore. We can remove our. I'll say yeah. Probably shouldn't have said yes. <laughs> okay, that would finally go away. If it, well, I shouldn't have did that. Okay, now, here we go, folks. So there's our section view. We don't need that right now. We we'll come back to it later. We want to top this. And then I'll go and grab this guy here again and copy it. I 
I need to turn constrain and multiple off, or at least constrain off. I'll bring it here. I'll rotate it around. It's getting lunchtime and I'm getting hungry and I might leave this here and Bill pick this up later. Um, we gotta get some conduit. We're gonna do a whole model using these templates and so you can get a good feel of how they work and they're pretty good, but they take a lot of time and you know, can never ask if I'm finished because a template is never finished. You're gonna always add things, improve things, make stuff better, make things automatic. Um, you know, so that's how templates really work. So I'm gonna look at this now. Let me get this guy out of here. So there's our cable tray. Now let's go and add a few more of these racks. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'll I'll drop this and we'll come back at a later time and do another one. And I'll go ten here. Put constraint back on. I'll go ten. So this is a guy that's got this model, and I'm basically made all of these parts for him, and he's got all he's got to do literally is just go in and place the elements. Now he should have his schedule done. I'll do one right quick. Okay, let's go and look at this thing in the, in, in section view. So there's our hanger. It's in there pretty good. Here's our hanger rack and our cable tray. Going in pretty good, sitting on the wall. We're gonna do some more hangers over here, but they gotta be longer. But anyway, uh, now I'm gonna show you quickly how the schedule works. So my guy here, I didn't make my schedule, so normally I'm a set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to view uh, schedules, schedule view quantities, and then I'm gonna go down to cable tray. Cable tray runs, okay. And then I'm gonna go with uh, type. No, I don't want to do runs just yet. Let's cancel that. Let's go and do, let's take, don't take too much time. And normally I would do this beforehand. I might not do this video because cable tray fittings, okay. So I'm gonna go with uh, type, and go with size. And I can create my own manufacturer. Uh, what else, I'm gonna go count. I can put the cost in there if I want. Let me just add it. No, I'm not going to add a cost. Nobody wants to cost bin radiuses. I'm going to go OK. And there's my information that's going to appear in my schedule. So there's our part numbers, the manufacturer, bin radiuses for what's in this model now. So for the time being, I'm going to leave it there, folks. And we're going to continue this at another time. This is. Um, just a brief showing how to add cable tray from a template file. So that's these were basically transferred over from my templates. Then we added our US trade cable system in here in this model. So hey guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one and bye.